If you don't know who I am, I'm Rory Linkletter, a Canadian marathon runner. Before that, I ran for BYU, where I was an NCAA All-American. Since graduating from BYU, I've relocated to Flagstaff, Arizona, the mecca of North American distance running. I'm starting this YouTube journey to share my life and the pursuit of an Olympic dream. I also hope this serves as a behind-the-scenes look at the life of a professional runner and his team, a team that consists of family, friends, training partners, and coaches. I'm not really sure where this journey will take me, but I'm excited to see all the possibilities. So please, like, watch, and subscribe. Cheers. And then I gotta just keep going. You get to the line first, eight hundred. Yeah. Yes. Stupid. Correct. If you do that, you that definitely would run into uh, twenty-seven. I mean, I'm gonna let him go. Then it's not gonna be interesting at all. Don't let him go, dude. It's if not you, interesting for me. I don't, running, you have to be motivated to beat the K while he doesn't make hundred. I'm not interested in doing it at seven thousand feet. He's a, he's a feet. big D guy. <laughs> Oh, you were born in altitude. I, I was you? born He's in the island. And, and the race is to 800, not to a K. So I just have to run an all-out eight and then die for 200 yes, meters? Correct. There you go. <laughs> you asked for, you asked for the K. Yeah. yeah, then you get Kayla to pace you the last two. Uh, just on, on, on no. <laughs> all right, so first up, we're going to do a 100 and a 200 sprinting just to wake up the legs. And then we've got a little inner squad race between me and Sire Salgado. Where's he at? He's over there. Anyways, uh, he's going to do an 800. I'm going to do a 1K, but I'm going to do the first 200 by myself, and then we're going to race each other the last 800. Uh, goal is for, for me to feel you know, confident in my speed going into this mile December 2nd at Boston, and uh, after that we'll do just some like easy quarters at like 5K pace once we've got full recovery. So it's going to be a nice, fun day, a beautiful day. Here in Flagstaff, no wind, so we're lucky. So we'll see what we're going to do. I'm going to try to at least run under 230 here for a K at 7,000 feet. So we'll see. Let's go. Stay on him, come on. Come on, come on. Hundred, hundred, let's go. We should have done a full K. Should have been 222. It's hard. 229, low. I mean, I knew if I broke 230, it'd be pretty tough. I wanted a little bit more, but it's one of those things where it's like, you got to feel really good and primed for that, and you know? Doing it in training. Basically solo, because Sire ran 152 for his 800. He underestimated his own fitness. So, uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, I think it's a it's a good shock to the system getting me ready to race here soon, knowing that I can do that up here. Come on, come on, come on.
is like a, a normal week, I guess, of weightlifting with Jesse. We're just taking away a little bit of weight on this, but because uh, I got a uh, race on Thursday, today's Monday, but we're doing, yeah, just a little bit of maintenance work. This is a hip flexor dominant frontal, what, what would you call this? Uh, so this is internal rotation squat day. Internal rotation squat day. See, I thought it was like hip flexor focus or something. That's what so I would say. We're not focusing on the hip flexors right now. We're focusing on mainly the connective tissue of the hip flexors. That's where a lot of runners get injured, is because they don't have strong enough hip flexors to do the work that they need to be doing. And so that's what we're really focusing on right now is the connective tissue of the hip flexors. But then he's doing the reverse lunges that are focusing on stabilizing the lateral subsystem, which is keeping the pelvis from rotating yep. from side to side. Yep, so this stuff, I've been doing this with Jesse for almost nine months now, yeah. eight months yeah. at least. So I started seeing Jesse when I got injured earlier this year with IT band is issue and since then I've had a really good clean slate of health and feeling like it's making a big difference in my injury prevention and overall like just feeling smooth and good while running. Just doing some last lift before the race, a little bit of prehab activation, just, you know, keeping on it through the race, um, which is the Manchester Road Race, uh, biggest turkey trot in America. I don't know if that's true. I think it's true. It's pretty big. Uh, going up against uh, defending champ and former college teammate, Connor Mance. So I'm excited to go to war with him and a couple other studs in the field, but mostly Connor. I'm excited to race Connor. So it should be great. Uh, 4.7 miles on a hilly course in Manchester, Connecticut. So it looks like it's gonna be chilly, so, but we're bringing the heat, it's gonna be fun.